Today we're going to take a look at find and replace inside of a Microsoft Word document. Uh, so um, find and replace is a really, really useful function in, in Microsoft Word. Um, and here I have a, a sample paper that was for a class. Um, so we're on the home tab. On the right hand side you see we're on the, the editing section of the ribbon. And you'll notice that if your um, if your window is compressed, you'll see that these down arrows right here. So a lot of times something will be hidden. Like say if we just open this up just a little bit, just you notice that editing is hidden. So we have to click down, and then you'll find find and replace. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, take a look at find and replace. So uh, find is the first first thing here. Notice that if I have a um, let's go ahead and close this. So if I have, say I want to find all, uh, let's say I want to find all instances of the phrase NBC in this, uh, in this document. Okay, so if I highlight NBC and then I go to find, notice that it immediately starts to search. And I get this kind of navigation pane over here. It says I have 26 matches and then it gives me some context around each one of those matches. This is a very useful feature because I can go down through and find exactly the NBC that I was looking for. Okay. All right, so that's the kind of the basic find uh, right there. Okay, and then if I wanted to, to, to do something else, like I wanted to search for Adobe, okay, notice that once I type in Adobe, it automatically will find that next, next uh, word that I type in. Okay, so that's the basic find feature. Now let's take a look at uh, some of the other features in find. So if I click on the actual find, if nothing is highlighted, so if, if my cursor is just a plain blinking cursor, and I go to find, it'll give me that last find that I did. Okay, so don't get confused by that. Um, now let's go ahead and let's go to replace. So find is a fairly straightforward. We can do find, right? Let's go ahead and click on um, Replace, and notice replace actually gives me this find dialog, okay? And this dialog is, is is very 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 useful, okay? So when you first when you first open it up, it's going to look something like this, okay? Now oftentimes you're looking for different things inside your document, and you don't want absolutely everything, uh, and a lot of times it helps to have a lot of different options. So let's say that in my document I don't want to find Adobe, I want to find the word has, okay? Let's click on more. Let's say that I only want to find. Uh, actually, let's say uh, let's say that I want to find a situation where um, I want to find the word has, uh, and I want to do um, all word forms, okay? And I just want to go to the next, the next. Um, so I want to find each one in turn and make edits to it. So I want to find the next uh, instance of that word. So I can click find next. Okay, so it notice that it highlights the next, so now I'm in my paper, so it highlights as the next has. Then I click find next, find next. Notice that now it did went to have, right? So have is a is a form of has. Okay, so that's a case where I can go down through and find every uh, form of a verb or a word. Okay, so if it's in past tense or present tense, it's a good way to check, check your work. Um, also, we can use... Um, Wildcard. So let's say that I, I put the selection up here. Let's say that I have the word mirror. Okay, so I notice I'm just giving an example. So I use the the, the um, I use the phrase further down, mirrored the desire. Okay, so I want to put mirror, and I use this wild card. Okay, this little asterisk is the wild card, right? So I click on use wild cards. Okay, and I click find next. Okay, and notice that uh, with the wild card, see how it has this ending e -E ed on it. Okay, so by using wild cards, um, it would match that text. Okay, so it would match regardless of what the rest of the characters are, it will match that text. Right. Okay, so if I just put mirror and didn't put wild cards, right. Okay, I actually still found. Um, okay, but wildcards are extremely useful in searching, and you just use that asterisk. Uh, for example, 
um, let's say that I put M I apostrophe E D. Okay, so I'm using wildcards, right? So notice I left out a bunch of letters in the middle. Okay, let me reset my cursor up here. Notice that it, it searches down the text, right? So I click Find Next, and notice this went straight to Mirror. So I searched on M I asterisk E D. And notice that that asterisk took the place of, in this case, R R O R. Okay, so whatever those letters were between the M I and the E D, that wildcard allowed me to search for that. Okay, so wildcards are very very useful. Um, you can experiment with the rest of these. Um, another one is match case. So let's say I want to know if I, I I know that I had to capitalize N B C. So let's say in one case over here. I used NBC, not or uh, capital NBC, right? Okay. Let's say I didn't I didn't capitalize it though, and let's say I want to find just the cases where I didn't capitalize NBC. Okay. So I would search on NBC. I'd put match case, and now notice that it's if notice that it's only going to find the lower case NBCs. Okay. So I put find next. Oop, and it finds it again. Click Find Next. Oh, and there we found another one inside the document. Click Find Next. It says Finish Document. It goes to the top. Click Find Next again, and there's my lowercase NBC that I need to change back. Okay, so that's the Find. Okay, now Replace takes it a step further. Okay, so Replace is an extension of Find. Let's say that in this document, I want to find all cases of national, or sorry, NBC, and I want to change that every time there is a capitalized NBC, I want to change it to National Broadcasting Service. Okay, or actually, let's say that I just want to explain what NBC is. Okay, so I want to, I want to explain that NBC is the National Broadcasting Service. Okay, and I would want to put spaces in there as well. Remember of the white space, the spaces. Okay, because if I were to put NBC space and I and I uh, replace that with a national broadcast, NBC National Broadcasting Service with no space, you can get into trouble because it can erase the spaces inside of your uh, of your text. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's uh, we're starting right here. Notice that we can set our cursor for a place to start. Okay, so let, we can put if we click replace, it's going to uh, find the next one first, and then move this down so we can see it as it happens here. And then if we would click replace, notice that what it did was it replaced this one and then went on to the next one. Okay, so here was my problem, right? Okay, so I searched for NBC with a space on it. Okay, here's my space. But I replaced it with NBC National Broadcasting Service with no space. Okay, that's something you definitely want to watch out for. Um, okay, so now let's say that I, I have kind of tested it a little bit. Okay, I've replaced one or two, and now I just want to replace everything in the entire document. So let's go ahead and click Replace All. Okay, so it says Word has completed the search. The document has made 25 replacements. I click OK. So notice that now every time. Uh, it encounters NBC, it changed it to Nash, NBC National Broadcast Service. Now here was one problem because I repeated my, my replace. Uh, it actually changed the, the NBC that I'd already replaced, and now I have a duplicate National Broadcast Service. National Broadcasting Service um, but I can go ahead and delete that. Okay, so that is find and replace. It's very, very, very useful, okay? Especially in a very long document. Uh, if you need to replace every instance of something, but it requires that when you're writing things to be very um, dependable or um, it, it, it requires you to be consistent because of the fact that if you want to go back and programmatically replace things, you need to know that you use the same thing every time. You know, if I had used NBC one time and National Broadcasting Service another, the this, this same find and replace would not have worked for me. Okay? All right, so let's go ahead. Um, and you should go ahead and try it. Uh, kind of maybe experiment a little bit with find and replace. 
uh, and just know that it's there for you when you need it. Uh, good luck.